Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So as you guys can see today, I have a really nice size home decor haul. I wouldn't say it's huge, but it's not small either. So there are several items here that I wanted to share with you guys that I recently picked up from Home Goods and Marshalls. And the store that I went to, there is a Home Goods, and then right next door to it is Marshalls, instead of them being combined like some of them are. This, these two stores are separate. So I did go into each and I picked up some items and, um, and then I have a couple of items sprinkled in here from Burlington's also. So um, I wanna just go ahead and jump right in and start sharing with you guys the items that I found on a budget, very beautiful pieces. So first we're starting with these beautiful pillows. You can see the detail in this, it's kinda of like a feathered pattern. I'm not really sure how to explain it, um, and I don't know if you guys can really see it that well, but it's a beautiful pattern on this kind of a champagne and taupe color pillow. It has a shimmer to it, so it's a little bit shiny. So I picked these up because I thought these would be a beautiful addition to my sofa, and these are pillows that I could use for any season or um, just for everyday decor. They were $19.99 at Home Goods. So I did grab two of them. So I thought these were really nice and I'll definitely be using them um, here for the fall season and going forward in the future. I also picked up these beautiful pillows. Um, they're like, you can see they're beaded pillows and they're absolutely gorgeous. I love that it's um, creamy, like a creamy ivory color, then gold, and then this um, kind of like a pewter color. So kind of silver, but a little bit like pewter to me. And it has a little bit of gold specks in it too. I thought this pillow was gorgeous. I think it would be perfect for any time of the year, but it's going to be a nice accent for me for my fall decor here in the living room. And so, yeah, I thought it was so pretty. And they were marked on clearance at $16. So I grabbed the two of them. I thought that was a great price. So I did pick up these two. And I love that the zipper is here so you can remove the, the uh, pillow cover to clean the pillows. And I, I'm sure this is why the pillow was marked down to clearance because there's a little stain there. So I'm gonna use um, stain stick to remove that and then that'll be perfectly fine. So yeah, two beautiful pillows. Again, they can be used at any time of the year, but I think they're going to be gorgeous for this holiday season, for from fall through Christmas, honestly, they can be used, and I think they're so pretty. I grabbed these really pretty, they're like waste baskets or trash cans, but I thought they were absolutely gorgeous with the gold inside, and with the cutout here, you can kind of see the gold shining through a bit. So I think they can be used as, you know, as a waste basket, which is what I think they're intended for, but also they could be used if you want to store your umbrellas in it, or you know, um, maybe kids' toys or whatever pillows. If you just want to use it as a decorative item around your home, I thought they were so pretty, and I thought it'd be perfect for that. And they were $7.99, so I did pick up three of them. I have the two here and this one. I'm probably going to use them as waste baskets first, um, just in our bathrooms, and then. I may decide to do something else with them. But I thought these were so pretty. I love the gray and the gold. And so I grabbed them up. Okay guys, now for me, this piece here is a show stopper. I think this piece is absolutely gorgeous. I probably should have waited till last to show you, but I couldn't wait. <laughs> um, this large, and it's a little bit heavy too. Um, I'm really not sure what to call it. It's like a large cup, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, I don't think it's a planter. It says for decorative use only. Um, but you can see this portion of it is smooth and then at the bottom, it has a hammer texture. It's gorgeous. It was regularly $60, marked down to $40. So I grabbed it because I thought it was so, so pretty. And I'm hoping to find another one. So that I'm thinking I'll use these on my kitchen island. You guys know how I have those really large white canisters on my kitchen island. Um, so I think this would be perfect to put when I wanna switch things up from white. 
um, and put these beautiful gold, um, I'm gonna call it a stand, <laughs> um, on my kitchen island and have some greenery coming out the top of it or like a garden ball or just florals, whatever. Actually, it could be used as a planter too. You could sit a flower pot in here and use it as a planter stand, whatever. However you wanna use it, you could put like a glass over top and maybe make it into a coffee table. But anyway, I thought it was gorgeous, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I'm hoping to find another one. So I may not use it in my decor just yet until I find a second one, but if not, then I will likely use it as a plant stand because you know I have several plant babies. And so, yeah, I might use this as one, as a plant stand for one of them. We'll see. But anyway, I thought this was so, so pretty. I thought it was very unique, very different, something that you're probably not gonna see everyone have, and that's what I like most about it. That is definitely a statement piece. And you guys know that I'm really into using large decor items in my decor, as opposed to always just using smaller pieces. So I think the larger pieces really make an impact. Even if you have a small space in your home, or if your home is not very large, and maybe you're in an apartment, um, sometimes it's better to use larger pieces because it will make a large statement as opposed to having several smaller pieces. So yeah, that's just my thought on that and I think this piece is gorgeous. And speaking of statement pieces, guys, this little guy here or this big guy here is definitely a statement piece. When I was in um, Home Goods, I saw him and I thought, oh my goodness, wow, look at that huge fish, right? And so then I thought, uh, I don't know. And then I thought, wait, I think I won him. <laughs> and so I looked at it and looked at it. And then I asked my husband about it. I was like, what do you think about this? And he was like, um, okay. <laughs> so he didn't really say anything one way or the other. And I was like, I think I want him. And so he was like, well, where are you going to put it? And I was like, you know, I don't know. He could just sit like in the corner, like near one of my plants or something, just as a little piece, right? A conversation piece. And so he was like, okay, well, whatever you think. So I grabbed him. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him or not, but I think he is kind of awesome. I love the size and look at the little face on it. It looks like he's kind of smiling a little. Now he has a few little imperfections and so he was marked on clearance for uh, $20. I don't know, you guys probably can't see that. It was $40 marked to $20. So that's why I grabbed it because I thought it was a really great price and he's really large and a really cool like just statement piece. So I am going to place him in my decor in the living room here and see how I like him and then I'll decide if I'm gonna keep him or not. But leave me a comment down below to let me know what you guys think. Like if you walked into someone's home and they had a huge angel fish, which I, I don't think, yeah, maybe this is an angel fish, I'm not sure. But they had a huge statue of a fish like this, like what would you think? Would you think that's kind of weird? Would you think it's kind of cool, kind of awesome? The cashier girl I asked her, she was like, oh, I think it would be kind of funky, kind of cool, you know. <laughs> she was a young girl, so I was like, oh, cool. So leave me a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about this piece, if you think I should keep it. Uh, if I keep it, do you think I should paint him? Because I was thinking I might spray paint it kind of like a um, pewter color. So not gold, because I don't want everything to be gold, right? But not, and maybe not white either. So I was thinking like a pewter color because it will still give it some color, but not this dark gray. Or do you think this gray is, is fine too? Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Now, I picked up these little cuties from Marshalls. Uh, I thought they were so pretty. I love these, these large acorns. They're wood, actually they're solid wood. I think they're solid anyway. They're not super heavy, but they're not super lightweight either. Um, it's wood and it has this gold leafing on top. I think it's so, so pretty. I love how it's just, you know, like kind of distressed, but still has a little, 
sparkle to it. So it's a little bit glam, a little bit rustic, like combined. I think that's so pretty. So this, the large one was $12.99. And so I did grab two of the larger ones. And there are, I have three of the smaller ones. And again, I just think they're so, so pretty. I don't even know if the camera's doing them justice, guys, but because they're gorgeous. And the smaller ones were $7.99. So I think these will be really nice to use, not just for the fall, but for Christmas as well. And then even after Christmas, like for your winter decor, um, they will be perfect. So I think these are items that can transition for multiple seasons from fall to Christmas to winter. And yeah, so you can get a really good use of them each season. And then, you know, if you like to, you could just leave them out throughout the year. It will be totally up to you. But I think they're gorgeous. And so I grabbed them up. I'll be using them in my decor. And next I picked up these little guys. I thought they were so cute. And you guys know I'm kind of on this little bird kick right now and I thought they were super adorable. I like that they're dark because you know a lot of the items that I have um, gotten for my bookcase are gold or um, like marble so kind of muted or earth tone colors so I really wanted to infuse a little bit of rich color into that space and so I did pick these little guys up. They were marked on clearance for $5.50 so I grabbed them, I thought they were adorable. And I saw something very similar to these on Z Gallery, I think. And so, yeah, these were a lot less expensive <laughs> than uh, those. And if I can find a picture, I will insert it here so you guys can see what the price was for um, at the higher end department store. So for $5.50, I thought they were super cute. I love their little crowns. And so that's going to help them coordinate into my look. And yeah, I thought they were adorable, so I grabbed them up. And next I picked up these um, really nice but simple white planters. And they have um, kind of a, a neutral tone at the bottom um, and on the inside. I thought they were really pretty. I like that they were very simple um, but very elegant. They were $5 each, $4.99. And I picked them up because... You know, planters like this can be very versatile. I'm gonna use them as a planter and put plants in it, but you can also use this to store like your um, utensils in your kitchen, you know, your spoons and uh, things like that, your serveware. Or um, you can use it for, you know, multiple purposes. So for me, I am gonna use it as a planter because I picked up these really cute little faux plants from Walmart. It was $5. But look at how real this looks, guys. This plant looks so, so real. And I wanted to have some greenery on my bookcase, but I didn't want to use live plants because number one, they won't get as much sun as they may need. And, you know, watering, I don't want to ruin the bookcase and by trying to water plants on it. So I picked up a couple of these faux ivy plants and I think they look very, very real. And I think they're gonna look really nice on my bookcase. And so I wanted to have them in something because I don't want them to just have the black pot. So I'm just gonna insert them in these little planters like that and then place them on my bookcase. And I think they are going to look very realistic and very nice. So yeah, that's why I got those. And these are the last items that I picked up from Home Goods. Or was it Marshalls? Yeah, this was from Home Goods. I did grab these little reindeer. It's a set of three. And you can see their height is like gradated, so it does get, they're smaller, and there's a medium size, and it's a bit larger size. They're not super large, but um, they're decent size, and I like that they came in a set of three. I thought they were very pretty, and of course, you know I love that they are gold. And if you remember last year, I did uh, pick up two of the most absolutely gorgeous uh, reindeer from Big Lots, but those are very large. And so I thought it would be really nice to have some smaller ones to complement those two large ones. So that's why I picked this up. It was $16.99 for the trio, which honestly I think is a little bit pricey, 
but you know, I decided to splurge a little. So I did grab two of them so that I'd have a nice little collection. And I think they're really, really pretty. And so, and they have a little bit of weight to them as well. They're not super heavy, but they're not really lightweight either. So I think they're gonna be very sturdy. So I was really happy to find them and they didn't have a whole lot of Christmas decor out just yet. Um, so this was like some of the first pieces that I saw that was for Christmas. So I grabbed them up. And next I wanted to share with you guys, I did pick these little guys up there. Uh, I think you guys told me, I did have a vase that I got from Ross and I was gonna take it back because I wasn't sure if I liked it. I didn't know what the little emblem was on top like this. I thought it looked kind of nautical um, or then we were thinking it looked like a strawberry, the, the vase. So anyway, several of you guys commented and told me that this is like a ginkgo leaf. And so I was like, oh, okay. And I've seen this now since that video. I've seen, you know, this in stores more often. And so anyway, these were in Hobby Lobby. They were $9.99 each, but they're in the spring shop. So my Hobby Lobby, I just passed by the little clearance section to see if they had anything. And these little three guys were sitting there. Um, you can see they're probably like a place card holder. You can see a little slit there in the top. But I'm gonna use them on my bookcase as like little bookends. And I think they're so cute. They have these marble bottoms to it. And uh, yeah, they were $9.99. I paid $1 for them because they were 90% off. And I thought they were really, really cute and they really go along with the color scheme that I'm doing. And I thought they'd make a great little statement on the bookcase. So I did pick up these three little guys. I also stopped into Bath and Body Works and picked up a couple things. Um, when I did stop in there earlier in the season and I did a walk through um, with their fall preview items, I did see these items and I didn't grab them at that time. So I did make a point to stop by there because I wanted to be sure to pick up these little wall plugins. I think this one is gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. It makes me happy just to look at it. <laughs> and so, yes, I did pick this up because I just thought it was fantastic. So, so pretty. Um, I don't remember how much these were, but I think they're, oh, there it is, $14.50. So guys, this is not cheap, right? No, it wasn't. And I don't think I had a coupon either. Um, or maybe I did because I got two of them. So maybe I did. I'm not, I can't remember. But anyway, I did grab this one and I grabbed this one because I thought this, you guys know how much I love lanterns. And so I thought it was really cute that this one is a lantern. And, um, you know, this is one that I can use all throughout the year. So it doesn't matter what season it is. So I thought it was adorable. So I picked it up. So on my next lantern collab, you'll probably see this little guy somewhere. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was very pretty. So I'm probably gonna add this to our guest uh, bathroom. So yeah, it'll be a part of the decor in there. So those are the only two things that I did get from Bath and Body Works. So the last items that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are from Burlington's. And so I picked up these little like greenery bouquets. I thought it was really cute. I love that it has the eucalyptus in here and the boxwood. And so I think this will be great for, you guys know I like to use greenery around my house. Even though I've really kind of gone to having real live plants, I think it is nice to still have, um, you know, some greenery on hand. And so I like that they are individual stems, but they have, so you can see here is individual stems, but they have them tied together like a topiary ball. So I thought that was really, really cute. So you can leave it like this if you wanted to, kind of like a bouquet, or you can separate them out and use individual stems throughout your decor. So they were marked at $6.99. I thought that was a really great price considering you get one, two, three, four, five, six stems, or you can just, like I said, leave it as a topiary ball, which you guys know those topiary balls are, not super cheap either. So, especially one that's mixed like this, it would be more than $7. So anyway, I thought this was a great buy, so I did pick these up at Burlington's. So speaking of the ginkgo leaves, 
I did find these beauties in Burlington's and I was super excited. I love the size of them and I thought they were gorgeous. They could be paired together like this and placed on your table as like a centerpiece, the three of them. I think it would be very pretty like that. It's kind of, yeah, so you guys can kind of see. I think it would be really pretty if you wanted to have this like as a centerpiece on your table or if you were serving your guest and you wanted to, you know, have like a different assorted candies or something like that in it. But I thought these were so very pretty and they were $8.99 each. So I grabbed each of them. They had three, so I took all three. And I think these will be really nice. Like I said, um, you can use them for multiple purposes. Also, they would be great for a coffee table styling or if you wanted to place them like on a dresser or entryway table. And again, at potpourri um, or decorative balls or uh, candies or however. So I thought they were so, so pretty. So I picked them up because I'm likely go going to be using them to style my bookcase. And these are items that can be used any time of the year, but they will look gorgeous for the fall and of course for Christmas as well. And last but not least, you guys know, of course, I could not let pumpkin season pass me by without purchasing at least one pumpkin. And guys, I was making a very conscious effort not to buy any pumpkins this year, although you know that I did buy two. Um, that I've used on my fireplace styling. If you guys did not see that video, I will have it linked in the iCars above for you to check out. Um, but, so I did get those two, but I did grab these little pumpkin bowls. I thought they were so pretty, number one. I love the color on them. You guys know that. I'm just a sucker for the traditional colors. But look at that, look at how pretty they are. But re what really got me is this handle. I thought this was just too cute to kind of lift the lid up like that. So you could have like your soup in this. And I just thought it was perfect. I thought they were so, so adorable. They had only three of them. I probably would have taken more if they had more and used them on my um, dining room table, like my setup. But they only had three, so I might style my kitchen island using these because I have three bar stools there. They were $4.99 each. I thought that was very reasonable for these little soup bowls. And I think they're gorgeous. So I did pick them up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and seeing all of the decor pieces that I uh, purchased. And I will say guys, this is probably gonna be the last haul, especially for seasonal items. Um, because now going forward, I'm going to go ahead and get finished decorating for fall and the next video you guys will see will be me styling my bookcases so i wanted to get this haul out to you guys so you can see all of the items and so in the next video you'll see how i use them in my decor so if you've enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up you know that helps me out tremendously also if you're new here welcome thank you so so much for stopping by i hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit that notification bell to receive alerts as to when i upload new videos for my faithful family members you all know i love you love you love you so 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 very much and i look forward to seeing all of you on the next video much love and many blessings bye bye